So first off, I want to just be, we want it to be entertaining and fun, but we also want it to be uh, thought provoking. And it was also a fun way to uh, explore a lot of Catholic and Christian themes in a genre that mainstream audiences uh, feel more comfortable doing so. How are you, Leroy? <laughs> doing very well. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to meet you and to talk about Deliver Us and yes. that you guys deliver a very scary movie <laughs> for me, <laughs> like some of the starting to think a lot of stuff. So so let's start from the like from the beginning. What was like the inspiration for the script that you wrote with Kenny Cus Kung? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. My uh, my brother. Yeah. So the idea actually came from my father. I have to give him credit for it. About a nun that's pregnant with uh, identical twins, one being the Antichrist and the other being the Messiah. And then me and my brother's Catholic background uh, got to writing it um, and working on it. And we probably did a script together in about six months and uh, we were shooting it in like eight. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I, I was like, I was born and raised Catholic. I stood in a Catholic school. So when I saw the the nun, all the the priests and everything, I was like, "Oh my God, the nightmare from my <laughs> childhood is coming back." <laughs> no, not not hey, that way. You probably got it. No, you probably got it much more than uh, you know uh, a lot. We went deep with the theology stuff of it. Yeah, yeah, it was very scary. That's why I was like, "Rah." So, and how was like co-directed this with, with crew and and you know like this dynamic on set that both of you are, like working there. Yeah, so it helps that we have uh, basically a brother relationship already. Uh, we've been working together for about 16 years now. And um, the last film that I wrote and directed, that's we've been shooting it over the course of 12 years. Uh, he edited it and produced it, and I wrote and directed it. And it just made sense on this next one is that we, alre we already, you know, uh, have our different uh, talents that we bring to the film, and we should work on it together. From the beginning yeah that's that that's good how was like the biggest challenge like because you wrote you all you direct and you also uh perf perform that you're one of the characters there but how was like the challenge for you like having these three <laughs> like roles on the project yeah so they they help i would say they help there's like a certain synergy to it especially if you uh, that you, if you're the writer, you understand what you're trying to say and then how to try to, if you can get rid of the intellectual part of it in the story and then embody it in your actual body going through the experiences, but mostly being able to just rely on between its crew or, or, or Isaac, the three main, uh, I'd say creatives for this film, uh, and then allowing other departments to really, you know, do what they do best and find the right people so that they bring something completely new uh, to it. Um, it's just so many people go into making a movie. It like a hundred, <laughs> at least, if not more, hundreds. Yeah, it takes a village. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. And also, uh, uh, you guys pick Maria Vera Ratti to 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 play the nun. How? What was about her her work that made you guys pick her? So we really weren't very familiar with her work. It was her audition and. She had that, uh, the gentleness uh, and that kind of kindness to her. Uh, like it, we were, I mean, me and crew were debating which, which way we were going to go, whether or not it was going to be uh, a, like a darker character that you're not sure if she's lying or if something. And I was like, that doesn't feel right. And uh, Vera also studied uh, Russian in school. And so she always wanted, she said it was her dream to be able to use that Russian someday. And so she's not a Russian actress. She's actually an Italian actress and was able to, you know, do the Russian flawlessly. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's, that's good. That's good. And, yeah. and also the locations, like you guys have picked, like the, the house that you guys go before. I don't want to spoil too much, but you have like the convent, you have like the church, you have different like locations and, and what was like to find those places and how was like this figuring out which one to go? Yeah, so we have to uh, thank our Estonian uh, uh, crew and the producers who knew that area to just take us to all these different locations. 
Um, and that is actually probably one that me crew and Isaac agree on the most is just finding the right locations and spending a lot of time, maybe more so than some other people, just finding the perfect place so that it's just, it just works and is a lot more like effortless on the day. So you're not trying to make something work. You're not doing multiple setups that, you know, it really drains time. Yeah. That scene that you see, we see on the, on the poster, that's very scary scene for me. Like the, 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 the cross on the, on the snow and the water, <laughs> that scene was very scary. How was like shooting that? <laughs> Oh yeah, so we were inspired by <laughs> that's a uh, how Russian Orthodox uh, sometimes ba get baptized. They actually go out and perform the ritual in the carved dice like that. And uh, yeah, shooting it in the actual. I mean, like, we I was like, we can't do this in a studio. It won't look like half as good. And so I just trained uh, to get my body used to being able to go into cold temperature for long periods of time, and uh, we went for it. Had a paramedic standby. Wow, yeah, I know, I know. And it's very like the cross there and like it's very like very intense, like not just as an actor, but even like the directing that that type of scenes is kind of like on the water, some of the Oh yeah. I bet you guys have a little bit of a challenge there, but it was really, really good. And the babies, oh my god, those babies are I can't believe I, you you guys have actual because I don't know if they were like real babies. Most some of the scenes that we can see there they were like, but they're very tiny. I was like, how can they be able to get some little babies there <laughs> to huh. do those scenes? Yeah. I was... Yeah, the, the mothers are great. And uh I think with babies, you just have to uh everybody's just gotta calm, like wait 20 minutes, you do a take, and they're gonna just, you know, chill and do whatever they're gonna do. And uh, you patiently wait for the moment. You're like, okay, that's it. You have a checklist. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. They're so cute and all, all this. And and what do you want people, like the everybody that's going to watch it, what do you want them to take away from, from, from the movie? So first off, I want to just be, we want it to be entertaining and fun, but we also want it to be uh, thought provoking. And it was also a fun way to uh, explore a lot of Catholic and Christian themes in a genre that mainstream audiences uh, feel more comfortable doing so. Um, so I, I really think, especially with horror, it can sometimes celebrate or like be all despair. And I think our theme was like uh, hope in the face of despair. Um, when these horrible things happen, like to make sense of it, to try to at your best and to carry on, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and, and you guys are already like working on your next project or something that you can talk about as a director and writer? Oh yeah, I would love to do uh, a sequel and make this a trilogy, but uh, there's an Inuit horror film that I've, a uh, script that I've been writing and rewriting. Um, and it's the same thing. It's a, uh, it's a religious horror, but it's uh, doing it through the Inuit mythology. Amazing, amazing. And uh, Leroy, I just want to thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to meet you and a lot of success. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. It was very nice meeting you. Nice to Bye. meet you too. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.